I think there are a lot of differences uh, between a low-income country like Nepal and a high-income country like Japan. And uh, I had the opportunity to experience both those scenarios firsthand uh, as a doctor. And, uh, you know, in case of low-income country, it's, it's not only a matter of uh, resources. Of course, the, uh, there are limited resources. People do not have uh, much uh, money to, to afford all kind of treatment. And they don't have a good health insurance system. Uh, so there are uh, issues of accessibility and affordability of cancer treatment. But beyond that, there is also a difference in lifestyle and the way they, they, they tackle cancer and the impact a diagnosis of cancer has on the, on the family. Uh, for example, in, in a high income country like, like Japan, uh, if a patient gets cancer, then uh, until, until the last stage, it's more or less like a disease of that person. Like uh, everyone else is doing their own normal life and that person has cancer and, and like uh, uh, he comes to get treatment and he's doing his normal daily work as well and he's also getting cancer treatment. It's like a, like more like a chronic disease, just like diabetes. But uh, in a poor country like Nepal, uh, number one, you don't uh, get access to good treatment and uh, number two, uh, because uh, cancer treatment is very expensive, the whole family suffers because of that. And, and the, the family needs to take care of the patient and so other members of the family are losing their jobs. And uh, number three, because the cancer treatment is so expensive, uh, we see many patients uh, who sell their house, who sell their land to afford cancer treatment. So undergone treatment or has passed away, unfortunately. The, the remaining family members suffer for a long, long period because of that. It is completely different and it's sad that uh, in, in countries like Japan, because the, uh, the patient doesn't need to pay much from their pocket, uh, both the patients and the oncologist, they don't consider financial toxicity during making treatment decisions. So if a person needs a treatment like nivolumab, he will get it. So, so they don't think twice or thrice about it because they don't need to pay much from their pocket. But now if you go to a low income country like Nepal, like, I don't know, maybe until 10, 20 years, no one could get nivolumab in a country like, like Nepal. Uh, so I, I wrote about it uh, in, a, in a commentary in Journal of Global Oncology where I said that these uh, big trials in, in this big congress about uh, immunotherapies, they are like, uh, like, you know, discovery of a new galaxy or a black hole in space because they are very exciting. They are very exciting from scientific point of view, but from practical utility point of view, it's zero. Like, they found a new galaxy or a new planet. It means nothing to us because we are never going there. It's not going to give us anything. So they found a new immunotherapy drug. It's absolutely useless to us because we are never going to use it for the next 30, 40 years.